Uh, welcome to this ITI Online Academy uh, bespoke lecture on managing uh, patient expectations. Uh, today I'll be speaking about uh, knowing, slowing and growing our patient expectations. I'd like to start with a quote from the English writer uh, George Bernard Shaw, who reminded us that the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has actually taken place. Now, I begin with this because knowing your patient expectation clearly comes from interpersonal communication, however that might happen. And so, as clinicians, the biggest challenge that we face when we meet our patients either for the first time or during their treatment, or even as we farewell our patients at the end of their treatment, is knowing what our patients expect from us and from the treatment that we uh, are about to or have delivered. And so often we fall into the trap of thinking that because the patient has spoken and I as a clinician have listened, therefore com uh, communication has actually taken place. When in actual fact, we all understand that communication happens on a many, uh, on a multi-layered um, uh, structure. So it's important that we understand that we don't just think that we've communicated with our patients, but that we actually do. Now, this is, of course, not a communications lecture, but I wanted to start with this because this is what we need to bear in mind as we think about knowing and slowing and growing our patients' expectations. Especially in the field of aesthetics, which is very pertinent to um, all aspects of dentistry, especially implant dentistry today, our patients have a particular perception of how they would like to look and for them what acceptable aesthetics uh, are. Um, and of course, for all of our patients who come to us seeking some sort of aesthetic work or aesthetic improvement perhaps, psychologically there is a scale on which their treatment or their outcome sits. And it is somewhere between being a social outcast, 